good day. We uh, had to redesign our arm from yesterday. You might have seen it. It didn't do uh, that well. It was two stages. It was on the hairy edge of being able to lift. So we optimized the geometry, turned it into a single stage arm, which you see now. Two darts, 12 inch darts. Um, being able to raise and lower the arm, comes over the top, hooks the bar, and then as it draws itself up, these wheels roll along the wall and it flips itself horizontally. Um, one cool feature of this is we wanted a little bit longer arm, uh, but there is a rule about being able to extend 15 inches outside of your bumper, frame perimeter. So we've added a little bit of a hinge and a magnet to click that into place. Uh, we're gonna add a hook at the end so that you can uh, lift up the uh, portcullis, push down the drawbridge, and hang. It's kind of a, a very useful arm, so I'm hoping that it conquers defenses and scales the tower. We got the shooter pretty much working. It yeah, takes in the ball and shoots it out pretty well. Uh, we made it from a Modulox system to make it very modular, so we weren't really sure exactly what the spacing needed to be or how far off the ground it needed to be, but the Modulox makes it really easy to unscrew it, slide things around, and get the spacing just the way that we need it. big thing we added was the actual box model for the intake, making sure it's able to index properly, which we've been able to test out with preliminary stuff with the prototyping for today. So now that we have everything pretty well where we want it, we're going to go ahead and bolt it down where it's being held together right now by clamps. And it's clearly way outside the box, so we got where we want it, and now we're just going to make the final edits to it. This is our sally port mechanism. It's kind of just barely bolted to the robot here. We built it today. It is an arm with a roller on the end that is actuated by a six inch dart actuator. Um, so in its starting configuration, this would be tilted up. You would drive up to the sally port door and drop it over, back up and open the door, swing to the left, swinging the door to the left of your robot and then drive in. 